Hello everyone. Now today we are going to see automation and its different types of automation. So what is basically automation? Uh, automation it is nothing but uh, a technology which is basically used to monitor and control the production of a product while also during delivery and service of that component of the product. So if we see in detail for the autom automation, it is defined as the use of various control systems that involves automatic handling between the machines. Means it is a process. Means uh, for the uh, uh, production of that any product, if there is no any automation, then it will be time consuming. Then automation basically consists of use of robotics, then sensors, wireless applications, and system integration. And why there is need of automation? So automation will lead to increase in productivity of the component as well as quality and robustness of the product or component. It also reduces the operating time and material handling time. And it also reduces the human labor cost and expenses required for the labor. And uh, it replaces the human task where involving a risk factor, means where the work will be hard or tedious. So these are the positive points of the automation required for the system. But uh, the drawback of this automation system is that it will be requiring high initial cost, investment will be high, and uh, the development and research cost of the automation, it will be also unpredictable. We can't predict the values required or cost required for the development and research part. And uh, automation will be lead, sometimes lead to unemployment as it is replacing the human or labor with, with respect to machines and an automated system may have some security threat by online or offline someone. So now what are different types of automation? So the, the, there are three types of automation. One is fixed automation. Another one is programmable automation. And third part is flexible automation. So we will now see each and every automation in detail. So first part is fixed automation. So what is this fixed automation? In this fixed automation system, it deals with production of only one single component or a product. Means if you see, it is used when the sequence of manufacturing operation is fixed by the equipment configuration. Means only one product can be developed or produced on this fixed automation line. And also the automation integration of various fixed sequence, it results into reduced setup time and production time. As it is automated part, so the production time required for the preparing of that product will be less. And this uh, system is applicable for only specific component and it is not applicable for the combination. Means we can't combine any two product on one single same line of this fixed automation. But this system is used for bulk production. When, when there is requirement of high volume of the, any product, so this system can be used for the bulk production. And there is inflexibility of the equipment so as to accommodate the product variety. Means we can't, we are not able to put the variety in that specific component. As the line, as we have stated that the sequence of the manufacturing operation is same or it is set. So we can't add any other additional information or we can't delete any other operation. So this is the drawback of the fixed automation that it is best for the product bulk production means where there will be requirement of high volume of production of any product, but we can't combine any other product in the same line. So this is the drawback of the fixed automation. The second is programmable automation. The name itself indicates that for this system, we are be using some different programs so as to set that process line. So in this system, it is used where there is change in sequence of operation required for manufacturing of the product. Means here, we can now in this system, we are now able to add some other operations or we can just can do the com combination of any two product on the same line with the help of these programs. Here also, the changes in sequence of operation can be done with the help of programs. Means as I have stated that by using programmable language, we can either modify the same line process line or we can add some other product in that line. So it is suitable, now this program automation is suitable for batch production. Means we can do any system or any product or combination of product in one single batch. But drawback is what it also requires high investment as there will be some programmable language we are using or softwares. So there will be investment is high, but the for the batch production, production will be, means the time required for the production will be high. So it is, there will be raw production rate, but is flexible to deal with variation and changes in the product configuration means 
there will be simultaneously there will be no any need of doing r and d on the spot on the process line only we can do some changes in the program and we can modify our product as per our requirement of the society or requirement of the firm so this is happening in the programmable automation and last is flexible automation the word itself indicates what is flexible flexible means as per the requirement you can modify your process line you can modify your product so the first statement states that the flexible automation system it is used for manufacturing a variety of product and second there is no loss of time because some changes is ahead of part of the program part we have made here for the flexible automation so change over from one other product to another it will be done in very less time and it results in reduced production time losses with higher product flexibility means there will be production time loss will be less and productivity will be high and so there will be flexibility in that production and continuous production of various components will be leading to means it can be done continuous production means their combination of n number of products it may be or it may be two or three different products we can combine on this flexible automation line without any doubt time means there will be no need of stopping the process line or no need of stopping the production line we can make changes with the help of this flexible automation the thing is that initial investment cost will be high and it is very flexible to deal with the product design variations means whatever the variations will be there in the design of a component we can do it on the process line so there will be no any downtime or there will be no any downfall for the production line so this form is called as the flexible automation and why now what are the reasons that we should go for this types of automation is all this type for example page programmable flexible as it as it will lead to increase the labor productivity means the labor cost will be less manpower will be requirement will be less and the chances of error while doing the production it will be also less so for that purpose we are going for the automation but the thing is that initial investment requirement will be high for this type of system so this is only the drawback of the automation required for uh, uh, laying out the process line for the production and second point is there is safety of the uh, labor and downtime means production time will be maximum utilized means there will be no any there will be less downtime and maximum production time so in this way type of means this automation system it help it is helpful for the system for our production of a batch production or it may be a single production or it may be a two or more combination of different products thank you